ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DC Universe Online. I am, of course, Trexus, and today we're on Black Ember, and we're going to go over the weapon skill tree for dual pistols. Now, when you put a point in dual pistols, you automatically get the plus 2% crit attack damage. It's good. That's good for you DPSers out there. The next step that we're going to be taking a look at is Slipshot. To use it, you have to tap the range button and then hold the range button. It gives you plus 1% crit healing chance, and it's vulnerable to interrupt. This is a move that you use if you're in melee range and you want to jump back, as I will demonstrate, because this is how my videos are done. And there you go. Nice little backflip. Kind of like it. Gets you, gets you out of the way in case someone's trying to melee hit you or something, and it just gives you a nice little backup. The next ability we're going to take a look at is full auto. To use it, you just hold the range button. That's all you do. Uh, when you use it, you will uh, gain plus four vitalization. It is a block breaker and it is vulnerable to interrupt. Now, the cool thing about full auto is you can move different poses, so to speak. When you just use it first straight on, you'll do AOE damage in front of you. But if you just tap different directions on your control pad or on your arrow keys, you can see that you're just going to be doing a lot of dancing. Isn't it fun? Ha 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 It's so fun because it's great. I just like actually using full auto just to move around and everything. Full auto, by the way, is a great way to try and actually pick up a little bit of health as a combo thing. Actually, no, it doesn't do. It doesn't actually use combos. I'm so sorry because it just doesn't. Because controllers were using that back in the day as trying to quickly gain power again. But it's still a fun maneuver. Still a nice little AOE ability. Next up is jump shot. To use jump shot, you tap the range button and then hold melee. When you put a stat in, put a point in this, you will gain plus 10 might. It does interrupt and it's vulnerable to block. And it brings you closer to the person in melee range. So you can see how it does it will interrupt your target and yeah. Next up is Magnum Round. To use it, you will tap the range button and then hold the range button twice. It's vulnerable to interrupts, and you could use it after slip shot, jump shot, and sweep shot, or kick. So it is, it does deliver a, par a very powerful magnum round at the end of it. And I think that slip shot going into magnum round. Let's see what the next one is, because I did record this. Slip shot again into, and, all right, slip shot into a jump shot. That was pretty cool, so. There's a nice little combo for you. Jump shot, magnum round. All right, so there you go. Jump shot, magnum round. And uh, just to do the kick, it's like the normal, it's normal melee buttons. You tap melee three times and then hold the range button and you'll do magnum round. So slip shot, magnum round. Yeah. Yeah, it's still kind of funny. Jump shot, magnum round. See, all right, so you guys pretty much got it. There's a kick going into Magnum Round. Awesome. Next up is Lung Strike. To use it, you will tap the melee button and then hold the melee button. This does interrupt and it's vulnerable to block. This is this is pretty much your lunge ability in order to stop people from doing things. Uh, when you hear it, you can see it does two. Uh, it hits the person twice because you're carrying two weapons. So that's what you have to do. Next up is Lifting Strike. After you use Lifting Strike, you tap the melee button and then hold the melee button. And it, is, uh, it does interrupt and it's vulnerable to block. Now, this is actually a juggle move. It's pretty cool. Uh, if the sparring target was working correctly, he will be jumped into the air. Or thrown into the air, really. There. See? It would have worked. Alright, after that is Loft Shot. You will tap the melee button and then hold the melee button twice. This does interrupt and it is vulnerable to block. So this is going to be lifting shot and ending with loft shot for more juggling. And so you can see it just right there. Pretty cool. And then last but not least is sweep shot. For sweep shot, you tap the melee button twice and then hold the melee button. This does interrupt and it's vulnerable to block, and this is a front this is a front cone AoE. So it does hit multiple targets. Like so. I mean using dual pistols is pretty fun to say the least. For your innates, you first get restoration for plus 15 resto. After that, you get 
uh, crit attack damage, which is plus 4% to critical attack damage. And then defense for plus 10 defense and toughness. And then vitalization, vitalization for plus 5 bit. Hope this, you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out the playlist for myself and Super Patriot doing these weapon videos. And I will see you guys next time.